Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today we are discussing why you should not chart, uh, trust your chart patterns as well as be married to positions. Confirmation bias is a hell of a thing and it can absolutely tank your trading and affect your profits, your mental attitude and everything else along the way. But I wanna show you this because every single trading clown on YouTube who gets paid more from trading uh, videos on YouTube than actual trading profits will tell you to trust the patterns, trust the price action and everything else. So I want to show you why you need to understand volume and order flow much more than what your price bars are telling you or what your so-called patterns are. I don't care if you have the patterns preloaded on your screen, if you have a desk mat with the patterns, a printout on your wall, you know, someone standing over your shoulder yelling at you, doesn't matter. Everything works until it doesn't. And today is an example where it did not. So this is a prime example of if you held to your position, you would have been stopped out and or taken a pretty sizable loss. So let's jump into what I saw this morning that was really unique. And that is we have a clear resistance line in the market. So we'll chart this out in black. We'll make it a solid line and we'll make it pretty thick. Okay. So there's a clear resistance in the market and a toddler can see that. But let's say you start having some confirmation bias, thinking that the market is going to turn around in your favor and you want to go to the upside targeting 18,600 on a breakout. Okay, let's do that. You can say that you have, let me just see, actually let me move this, move this over here. You have an arc. And on this arc shows you a cup pattern. So you're telling yourself, okay, this could be a potential cup and handle. Because now, as we start to progress through the actual trade itself, you start to see the downtrend that should begin to form the breakout. So here's your channel right about there. Now, let's say you have a, a scanner that is preloading this on the chart for you and you think you're going to have a breakout. Mind you, you could absolutely enter long here with your stop below the channel. You got a fair value gap down here. So maybe you would see somewhat of a bounce, but you can obviously see that gets ran through. But for the sake of this argument, let's say the chart stops here you start to see a breakout. But as we come in to the top of this range, we get stuffed. But then you have an engulfing candle with another bullish engulfing candles. Okay, here comes the breakout mentally. No. Then we have hanging man or an inverted hammer. I mean, a regular hammer. And then we push down, right? So your confirmation bias would tell you, okay, you know what? Maybe I got stopped out of this one. Let me get long at the bottom here before we retest this range again. Wrong. We push lower. Now we're coming up, pushing lower. Now, this is why trading is not easy. Trading is certainly not for the faint of heart either because you could get frustrated thinking this cup and handle pattern was gonna work or maybe this is your A plus setup and you have had success with this in the past. But again, everything works until it doesn't. And today, this is just another example as to why you cannot trust your confirmation bias. You cannot trust every single pattern that throws your way or sets up on your chart because again, it works until it doesn't. So let's say you're watching order flow now, or you're watching volume. Let me pull the volume back up on the uh, chart here. Okay. So now as we're looking at the volume, you can see this is the zone we're really going to pay attention to. So we have a nice push up, but we have equal amount of volume, just a little bit more on the push down. But notice on the engulfing candle coming back up, the volume on this candle is actually lower than the uh, bearish candle that happened just before it. Okay, so something to watch. Now, as you're looking at the hammer indicator, okay, volume still increasing, another big sell, a push up, but it gets stuffed. And now here comes the selling pressure really on the way down. So as you're watching that volume, that could show you, okay, this is not something I want to hold on to. Maybe I'm catching a falling knife here. Let me take stay cash and watch things to the uh, to the downside. So this is just a quick little video to remind you guys. Again, I'm no expert, nor do I claim to be, but this is why you have to be very intelligent with your emotions when you're trading. It's something I'm learning, something that everyone's learning. That's a nonstop game. 
because your confirmation bias will say, you know what, I'm still targeting long to the upside and I want to stay in this trade. Not the case. So guys, that's all for today's video. Just wanted to make it quick, a friendly reminder. Don't trust those patterns all the time because everything works until it doesn't. Stay, uh, stay smart, my friends. See you in the next video. And other than that, hope your trading is going well this month. August is going to be interesting. And uh, the rest of the year will certainly be interesting. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks.